So you want to make money blogging. Well, I'm going to break it down for you in a new way. I'm going to show you sites making millions of dollars a year, some of the big ones. And then I'm going to show you some brand new sites making like $10,000 a month and more and exactly how you can do that too. So let's get into it. So there are a ton of different ways to make money with a blog, but when starting from zero, you need to follow a practical, predictable monetization model. So blogging is a great revenue stream because it opens up all these different revenue streams into your life. You can make mistakes, you can hone in on content, affiliate ads, all of it. We're going to cover it, but you want multiple income streams to maximize security and your earnings. So for example, if you're heavily reliant on one income stream and then traffic dropped or something happens, it would be kind of scary. So diversification is key. We're going to cover how a lot of big sites do it, how new sites do it so that you can get a piece of the action yourself. So the main ways to monetize a blog are with ads, affiliate marketing, CPL or cost per lead, lead generation, sponsorships, digital products, memberships, consulting, all kinds of different opportunities. Let's get right into it. So first let's talk about running ads. We'll look at some sites that do that, but there's different ad requirements, uh, traffic requirements. So you might need some traffic to start making money with ads. Again, you need a lot of traffic to make money with ads. It's kind of the last resort of monetization in a lot of ways. It's for articles and when people Google things and they hit your website and then they aren't ready to buy anything, they don't want to buy anything. That's where ads come into play. So they're not going to make a purchase. That's why the recipe blogs put like a million ads in there because you Google chicken recipe and you're not going to like buy a piece of chicken from their website. I mean, that would be kind of weird, but you're going to read the article, but the blogger still wants to monetize it. So that's where ads come into play. High volume informational posts and all that. So let's look at a couple of examples of sites running ads. So let's cover some big sites first, making a ton of money with ads. So first is Buzzfeed. We all know some of their annoying articles and things like they always pop up and showing Instagram stuff, but we can see like there's ads here on the right hand side. There's ads at the bottom. There's going to be ads throughout the article. I went on a cruise recently, so they're probably trying to show me some different, you know, things that I would like, but we see Buzzfeed actually made over $200 million with ad revenue in 2022, but they actually operated at a loss last year somehow. So that's kind of interesting. Lifehacker is another one. So you see their articles here, like the difference between a handyman and a contractor, and you see ads on the right and ads throughout the content chase for business. Really, they're just doing right-hand side ads, which makes sense, and one at the top. So what they do here as well is some of these bigger media sites will write like site takeover ads and things like that where you can get a lot of ads and they make a ton of money that way. Here's TechCrunch. They also have a ton of ads. You can see right at the top and on the sidebar, they are doing it that way. And you go and look at different articles. We can see that they're not really giving us a ton of ads in the content of articles, but they have like kind of site takeovers, things to register for, lots of ads, also things on their homepage. So they could have a sponsorship opportunity where they have a sales guy and they sell actual ads on the homepage for a lot of money. Now here's some examples of some smaller sites running ads. This is runninginaskirt.com, pescatarian diet guide for beginners. We can see that she has ads at the top uh, on the side and this one at the bottom here that just stays there. That's what Mediavine does. They actually have ads like that that just stay there and scroll with you. There's video ads and lots of things running as well. So you're gonna read about the pescatarian diet, right? You're not ready to buy something. You're not gonna buy a book necessarily, but you know, you can sign up for the email list and you can, you know, make ad revenue that way. So perfect pot roast. This is another recipe one from spendwithpennies.com. And we see again, similar ads at the bottom ads throughout the content. So when you're in an ad network, you can actually tell it like add an ad banner ad every third paragraph or every fifth paragraph. You can do low, medium, or high density. You can add the sidebar and then you can add the bottom one as well. Super easy to use. You just use a WordPress plugin and you know, tweak a few settings, add like the Mediavine WordPress plugin or whatever ad network you're in and you're all set. So it's a great way to make passive income is through ads. You just need a lot of traffic to do it. So like revenue per thousand visitors is a common thing to look at. So if you're writing about like food or party ideas, things that aren't that lucrative or monetizable, your re RPM or revenue per thousand visitors might be like $5. So you get a thousand visits to your blog, you make five bucks. The bigger media sites are charging, you know, maybe $200 RPMs, $100 RPMs or more to brands on a sales basis. It really depends if you're in the finance niche and you join a media, uh, an ad network, you might be making like $40 per thousand visitors for ads but ultimately you need a good amount of traffic to make money with ads. If you're a creator and want the easiest way to monetize your videos with your own Netflix style membership site, plus branded mobile and TV apps, you must know about Uscreen. So it doesn't matter if you have a channel about Pokemon cards or classic cards, you could be a beauty vlogger or a tech geek, whatever you're making content about, Uscreen can help you monetize your work easily. With their Uscreen platform, you can sell memberships, rent and host paid live streams to your most premium loyal subscribers. And with their tools, you can build your own website or even a white 
labeled mobile and TV app, including Android, iOS, Apple TV, Roku, and Fire TV. And thousands of creators have already gotten started and are earning recurring money from their videos. So try Uscreen for yourself, sign up for a free trial. The link is in the description below. So affiliate marketing is my favorite form of monetization because it can dictate your content strategy. It's a simple setup. You write these transactional best of posts to make affiliate revenue, product reviews, roundups. Each article can be kind of like its own mini business because you can optimize it at ranks and you start optimizing which affiliate links and which companies are in that list. And you can, you know, you turn this into five figures a month. So you can make a lot more money anywhere from like, you know, it really depends on the keyword, but anywhere from two times to like a thousand times more per visitor based on just doing affiliate marketing. So this is based on search intent. This is based on people searching for actual products and you being the mediator between a search and a purchase. So let's look at some examples of affiliate marketing sites making money. So first is Christina, who's actually a student of ours in our blog growth engine community. She joined in March, she made $0 her first month, but you can see that over time through affiliate articles, she is now making over 15,000 a month. I think it now it's over like $20,000 a month just through affiliate marketing. So that's the power of kind of the snowball effect, as she says here, of building affiliate income. First three months, $0. So you're creating all this content, you're putting stuff out there, you're not making any money. So you can see that her domain rating is going up, her authority is going up, and her you know revenue is going up. So it's a snowball effect that takes a little bit of time building affiliate articles and making income. If you're interested in learning more, you can sign up for the free mini course, link below in the description. Uh, tons of free content, free training, anything you need to grow your blogging business. So make sure to sign up for that. Let's continue. So here's some more articles that make money with affiliate marketing. So anything that includes the word like best plus a product, so like best padded bike shorts of 2023 for travel and leisure. So you can see how these articles are laid out. They have their top picks overall for men. And if you, these are straight up affiliate links going to Amazon, $189, uh, best overall for women, bib shorts, splurge. And then you can see that then they have their picture, their links, their rating system, and their content. So you can see that writing affiliate articles is actually like a super templated approach to making money where it's not creative writing. Blogging isn't that way. Monetizing a blog is templatizing this stuff with, you know, in the right format. So I do like how they have the ratings, why we love it, what to consider. So these are like the clear differentiators that people wanna see. So lots of this affiliate links you can see are also optimized in the title throughout the content and within these buttons here. So they have call out buttons. So that's a good one. Best home security systems from thisoldhouse.com. They have a three column uh, format here with ADT, the best overall. These are all affiliate links as well going to ADT. If I were to purchase this, they'd make, it might be a cost per lead model on these. Um, but you can see that they also have the layout similar to that where it's the best systems links here, nice comparison table as well. And then they have the review. Now what's interesting is like when you actually look at this review, it's only like one paragraph of actual paragraph copy, then buttons, pros, cons, lists. So this is kind of where blogging is heading as well. It's just this clear differentiation and formatting with different things. These are all easy to do with something like WordPress and cadence blocks where you just create something as simple as like a content block or, you know, two column with a little image. This would be an image, things like that. So these are actually a lot easier to create than you think, but you see it's a templatized approach. Try to maximize people to click your affiliate links because we want it to be clear and easy to understand at the top, clicking here, and then all throughout getting as many affiliate link clicks as you can. Let's get another one. Tom's Guide, they write about all kinds of, you know, technology products, all kinds of stuff. So best outdoor rugs in 2023. So if you're like writing about home and lifestyle stuff, best rugs, there's all kinds of different, there's probably like 20, 30, 40 articles you could write about rugs. <laughs> They're kind of expensive too. So you can see similar again, picture, uh, specifications, reasons to buy, reasons to avoid, one paragraph of actual information, actually a couple more paragraphs, but then similar format. So it's clear differentiated formats. Let's look at this one, best bug zappers by the family handyman. Want to eliminate those annoying pests? I sure do, especially in Florida. Buy a bug zapper. So it has some good intro paragraph content. And then product one, most stylish, most stylish one is here. And then you click shop now. This is from Lowe's. It's their affiliate link and you can purchase it that way. It's a $45 one. So it really is a formatted and templated way to make a lot more money than just with ads. But you can see you can do ads and affiliate links. So you can blend these monetization models together where you can still have ads on your posts, of course, but you can have affiliate links too. Now I would remove, if you're in an ad, ad network, you can actually remove ads from some articles. I would only do that if they're like, if they're making thousands of dollars in affiliate revenue, and then you don't want to distract people and you're only making a few hundred dollars with ads on the article, but you can do both. So that's what you see here in a templated way. And that's how you do it. So what's interesting is we have, you know, a student like Christina, who's making over $20,000 a month now with affiliate uh, marketing. 
It's from multiple articles, not just one. So you want to have a diversification, a number of different articles, ad revenue plus affiliate revenue. And, you know, one individual article might make $1,000. It might make $10,000. I have, you know, three or four articles making over $10,000 a month individually. But it could be 50 bucks. It could be anything. But the more content you create, there's a direct ROI on it over time if you do the right strategies and rank for stuff. Now let's talk about sponsorships. So sometimes when we think of sponsorships, we often think of like podcasting and YouTube because there are a lot, you know, we do sponsorships on our YouTube channel, but blogging is actually a really powerful way to do sponsorships as well. And, you know, how it works is if you're ranking, you know, on the first page of Google for a valuable best of product roundup post, you can charge a company directly. Instead of doing affiliate marketing, you can just charge them and you can base it on what's the cost per click of that keyword, you know, how much, how many, how much traffic are you getting? And then that's how much the actual you know, sponsorship is worth. So you think of traditional stuff like, you know, the Tim Ferriss show has sponsors for a podcast and all kinds of different things. You add them into your blog also, as he has them on his website here. So he also has the sponsors from his podcast on his website. Then you can see something like my website, where this is a sponsor, NanoNets was a sponsor, and you know something like OCR software. So there's three different types of monetization in this article. This is uh, sponsored placement right here. There's a few affiliate links right here, and there's also ads. So it's three things. So with sponsorships, just like YouTube, just like podcasting, blogs, it's a very common thing in blogging is to have sponsorships and big media sites like PC Mag do it. That's like their primary source of revenue is like adding the, a lot of big media sites don't do affiliate marketing. They'll only do sponsorships because they have a sales team. So it's really like if you're getting traffic, if you're ranking for valuable transactional keywords, brands will actually reach out to you to be included. So it's actually really easy. You don't have to do a bunch of sales and outreach, especially if you're a smaller blogger. Usually if the rankings come, sponsors will come as well naturally. So to see the potential of sponsorships, this is like traditional advertising and how websites that are making a ton of money make the most. This is like Gear Junkies advertising kit here. So they have all kinds of things that they offer. They offer like category and e-news takeovers. So you could have ads appear on the right hand and left hand sidebars and at the top for either the whole homepage takeover like North Face is doing here or hiking category takeover like Merrill is doing. They also offer branded content, promotions, sponsorships, produce videos, live videos, user-generated content sweepstakes, all kinds of different things. If you actually look at their media kit, you can see the power of you know creating this type of sponsorship model. It does require more traffic, but this is truly like how big a blog, a simple blog can be. So they have 35 million annual page views. They co cover all their editors, but they have websites, social newsletters, all of that. They show their engagement. They show the display media that they can do. And then, you know, probably contact them for pricing. So it's a sales driven effort with sponsorships, but a small blogger can do this stuff too. It's really just like ranking for transactional posts and then selling individual spots. I'll put you in the number one spot here for this much per month. And also you can do, if you start getting a lot more traffic, you know, you can start selling advertising spots as well directly. So sponsorships is something that really is uh, what major players are doing, what the big sites are doing, but small sites can implement some of this stuff too. Next, let's talk about digital products and memberships. So this is an actual product that you have to create. So it's not always good to start with this monetization model because if you don't have an audience yet, it's kind of risky to spend a bunch of time making a product when you don't have anyone to sell it to yet. But it's very high profit margin and it's something that you can do. Like I didn't build Blog Growth Engine in any product until about two and a half years into my blog. Once I'd found success, built my email list up, started YouTube, uh, you know, starting the YouTube channel to help that as well. But once you create something, you can sell it. And it's really about coaching. It's really, we're moving into this world where like a course isn't quite good enough anymore. You need to also have coaching, a community, real like building like a type of college-based type of business where you're really, really helping people because you need students to actually get results like we do in Blog Growth Engine. So we have four time, four full-time coaches, you know, people that are always in the community, live Q and A's. You need like active stuff like that too. But you can start with just a simple digital product at first. So let's look at some. So something like Charisma University, is a product here just on you know building your charisma super long sales page storytelling leadership bonus content lifetime bonus and you can join and you click that it's a long sales page and then you see more of that and it's 597 total you can also see marie forleo she has a copy cure uh course so it's a course on copywriting i believe click that you join seven day writing class, all of that kind of stuff. I think it's $1,497. Then we have Asana course, so like something smaller, like Money Lab, Asana for bloggers. I think it's like a hundred bucks. How to use Asana for blogging, something very niche like that. And it shows you how to do it, a bunch of different lessons, buy for 97 bucks. Then there's courses like Mark Manson, he's a popular author. 
uh, blogger as well. But he has like courses on building a better life, resilience, emotional mastery, relationships, purpose, bonus courses, and all of that. So it's really about becoming good at something, teaching an audience how to do something. So building up like your real true personal brand and then becoming you know, known for something in your niche and then selling to an audience. And that's, it takes a little bit of time, you know, it takes a few years to get to that point, which is why it's not first, why we cover affiliate marketing and ads first, but those are just some examples. Next, let's cover consulting and coaching. And this is pretty high profit margin. This is you spending your direct time coaching somebody or doing consulting and like charging a flat fee, like an agency to a specific client. So you can charge a premium for this, but it does take time. This is actually how I started my blog. The first revenue stream, I was doing like SEO consulting and link building stuff. But look at the basic math. Like if you had like 10 SEO consulting clients at 1200 a month, that's 12,000 a month. You could even charge, you know, up to $5,000 a month. It really just depends on your niche and what you're in. For example, we could look at something like consult with Ben dot com, uh, Ben Mala.com, who's a real estate investor. But if you want to schedule a private phone call with him, you can click, I want a private 60 minute phone call. Uh, you can set the calendar, it's $2,000 for that, right? So people are maybe buying that, I don't know. Another one is like uh, Nerd Fitness. I remember following this blog like a decade ago and it's a good community of people trying to get fit, but this is a sales page for this. And if you sign up, you can become, um, let's see, da 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 in-person personal training. So that's interesting in the fitness niche, it's 60 to $150 per hour long sales page, schedule a consultation to get started. So that's more of the coaching aspect. And then other ones like Tom Ferry, eight levels of performance. This is free coaching consultation costing, you know, $1,299 a month. So all of that. So on one hand, there's consulting, which is like, I'm going to do SEO and I'm going to write content briefs and I'm going to do on-page SEO and do some link building for a company. I'm going to kind of replace the need for a worker for them. I'm going to do this as an agency and I'm going to charge $5,000 a month as a consultant. Now we have, you know, entire modules in our blog growth engine course on exactly how to do that pricing proposals, how to become an agency basically. So that's one aspect. Coaching is another one. And this almost falls in with courses because coaching community is all really important. That's why we, again, we have four coaches in our community. We, these are things that you just grow and expand over time. But coaching and consulting, think about it in your niche and your blog. Like what could you charge, you know, an hour of your time for? What could you teach? Now, again, this is why it goes back to a personal brand, which is a near perfect approach. So a personal brand blog can get you from, you know, zero to $10,000 a month. It's a little bit harder these days with affiliate marketing to get to like $100,000 a month, but you can build a solid business as a blog. And you start with affiliate articles, ads, all of that stuff. Then you can then the personal brand aspect is really good because after a couple of years of doing that, you can expand your audience. You can do things like YouTube. You can do things like social media. It's really just you are the brand. You become a teacher. You become an expert. And then you start becoming and building a seven-figure business. So that's what we did. We started with a blog. Now we have a blog and YouTube channel. You know, 15 employees working. We have four coaches, a full community and all of that. But just because I started it, I started my blog and monetization as myself. Not, you know... I was thinking about starting it as like the e-commerce guy.com because I was working in e-commerce. But if I did that, I would have limited myself. My ceiling would have been so much lower. I probably wouldn't be making any money today actually because my e-commerce articles aren't doing that good on Google anymore where other ones are. I can't talk about that forever. I wouldn't have started the YouTube channel. So all of that, so personal branding, building a true business for yourself based on you is the best path forward, especially in the 2020s. So monetizing your blog comes down to creating a plan and sticking with it. So not quitting, you know, realizing that like Christina, it might take months and months of actually putting in the work before you get revenue, but then it's a snowball effect. So it's, it keeps trickling and trickling and growing and growing. And it's building a true, it's learning about how to build a true online business, which I think is the most valuable skill that you can possibly have. So with good keyword research, topical maps and authority, enough content, you can create a real blogging business. So if you're interested in learning more, make sure to sign up below for the free mini course, tons of free content in there. Just put your email in and we'll send you the exact blueprint of all this stuff. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know if you have any questions on blog monetization. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, check out other videos, and I will see you in the next one.